mortgage purchase applications are up 7%. <laughs> really? That They really are up 7%? They are up 7%. Uh, and refis are down. Um, I think refis are down 3%. Um, but yeah, I, which is which is encouraging because we we want to see those purchase applications increase. Um, I think refis still make up a little over sixty percent of the applications, but the purchases are are rising, which is a good indication for hopefully uh, a stronger than expected uh, fall. Wow! And you know what's amazing is this is our we're going into a slow season for them to go up at a time when we're really going into a slow season. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's going to be a slow season. I think inventory is finally releasing, um, not at the rate that we need it to, but um, it is increasing. And I think people are going to take advantage of that, um, especially with virtual or hybrid work situations. I think it won't make a difference for a lot of people to be moving. I think school might be the biggest issue. Um, but you know, a lot of people are out two weeks for quarantine with schools uh, every month. <laughs> so. That's that's cool. That's cool. And so, so true. So, so, uh, you know, the other breaking news that I've heard, and I'm really, really excited about it, is that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are changing their pattern a little bit. Um, one of the things that happened recently is that they reduced the amount of investor loans that they were doing. They reduced their portfolio, remember, from 15 down to 15 percent, down to 7.5 um, percent. And they're getting ready. They were getting ready to cut it in half again. And it mm -hmm. just so happens that they're releasing that and going back up to the 15 percent. They're opening things back up again. I thought that was pretty interesting. Well, I mean, I think you know, hopefully they, they can read the data as well as anyone else. And the data is those investor loans are, are a good bet. Um, I, I think especially now that, you know, rents are increasing, rents are being paid. Now, there's still some back owed rents for sure. I mean, I'm not not uh, marginalizing you know people who, who still haven't been paid in, whole, you know, in full yet. But for the most part, rents are, are appreciating and, and people are paying them. And they're like, you know, maybe the, you know, Fanny and Freddie are saying, well, okay, that's enough sign for us to, to open things back up. Yeah. I hope it's not too little too late though, because what they did when they, when they did that is they opened the door for all of these non-qualifying lenders to crawl out of the woodwork. And I mean, they're crawling out of the woodwork because they're, they're now able to offer rates that are, really similar to what uh, Freddie Mac is doing. And well, and not just the rates. I mean, yeah, they can do similar no higher rates, but their, their, their process is so much faster. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No tax returns. They're looking for what bank statements and they, they like experience, but it's not necessary. Uh, they do it in your entity where, you know, these conventional lenders won't do it, but, um, and that's pretty interesting. I think I'm, I'm anxious to see how that, how that unfolds. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, what is it? We also saw that, uh, loans total are down loans that are in forbearance are down, which is that's really right. good. I mean, I think we started somewhere in the, you know, a little over 5 million loans and now it's down to 1.6 million. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's, that's a, a great thing. So, and you know, what's also a, fueling that is there's more, um, there's more conversations around modifications or and maybe even incentive for people to want to bring their, their loans current because of the equity that they've just attained in the last few months. Uh, I think it went something to the effect of, home equity in America has risen $3 trillion in the last, well, I'd say let's last six months. Like in that, that's crazy. It went from 6 trillion of equity to 9 trillion of equity. That is big numbers. Ouch. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. So, you know, I, I was wondering too, when you're talking about 
um, how forbearances have dropped. Do we have a count on how many came out of forbearance and how many went from forbearance into foreclosure? So I don't have those numbers. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them. Um, but yeah, that's how many have, you know, how many went re-performing and then how many went straight non-performing. Right. I imagine the majority went re-performing right. of, of the, you know, the 3.4 that have dropped out. Uh, but yeah, that's, that, that would be a good number to know of what percentage went non-performing, uh, what percentage, you know, is going to is going to be coming through the system uh, that could potentially be an investment opportunity for our investors out there. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm.